G'day everyone and welcome to Twisty's Top 5, where I bring you guys my top 5 things on a particular topic. And if you do go on to enjoy today's video, please leave a big thumbs up so we can get as many people to see this as we can. Now today we're going to be looking at the next AFL video game. Given that True Blue are more unreliable than Melbourne's public transport system, I have decided to try and hype you guys up myself with my own top 5 features that I want to see in the next AFL video game. Let's get stuck in. Number five, banana kicks and dribble kicks. The ability to do banana kicks has always varied from game to game. From back in AFL 2003 when you would automatically kick a banana from the boundary, in AFL 2004 when it had its own button, and then in AFL Live where you could do some inside out ridiculous banana kicks from anywhere you'd like. Uh, but while it hasn't been a feature in all AFL games, it's common sense to have it included this time around and it's become a fundamental of the sport. The ability to snap the ball around your body is something we all miss in AFL Live 2 and we want to see it make a return. On another note, dribble kicks are also becoming more and more common in the AFL and there is no better feeling than sinking it from deep in the pocket knowing how to bounce that ball through the big sticks. It's a feature that has long eluded AFL video games and one that we eagerly want to see make a debut so we can make some miracles happen. Number 4, Infinite Career Mode. Was AFL Live 2's 15 year career mode not long enough for you? Do you want to play through the next 100 years of your club's future? Well, I certainly do. Back in AFL Premiership 2007, long name I know, uh, you can play through as many years as you wanted, hitting the draft and trade table constantly to get your team up and going again and again. Now I certainly want to aim for 16 flags in a row because 15 is not quite enough. And given it's been, you know, Two, two plus years since the last update for, for AFL Live 2, people want something to do when they're waiting for the next game to drop. And an infinite career mode would be the perfect option. I also think it would be cool if they could, you know, throw in a couple of Easter eggs with some, some father sons maybe, and potentially in that uh, 2029 draft, Oscar Judd could be the uh, number one pick that we all need for our team, so... I'm thinking you put that in there. Number three, customization. While player customization has been decent over the last few games, I want to see what else we can create. Instead of waiting for a new yearly DLC to release, just give us the tools to create our own future. Create our own fixture, create our own finals fixture, and better yet, you know, give us the ability to upload and download players and teams that we've created. I mean, maybe I want to recreate the 2001 to 2004 Brisbane Lions side and share it with the world. Now, how else am I going to be able to do that? You look at how the AFL Gaming Hub has been able to create a 2015 and a 2016 update for AFL Live 1. If you just put that as an in-game feature, it makes it so much easier for the community to get together and just create something that makes them want to keep playing this game again and again. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of other players out there that are going to create their favorite sides and put them out there for everyone to play. Number two, mission mode. There's nothing better than watching your team pull off an epic comeback and then trying to recreate it in game. Between the 04 and 07 games, there were missions where you could replay through your club's historical moments. And back in 2004, you could even create your own scenario, setting the scoreline and time left on the clock, making it super easy to recreate your side's amazing three quarter time comeback instead of replaying through the entire game again. It even gave you a chance to kick a goal after the siren. Before I get to the number one feature that I wanted the most, I wanted to give out a few honourable mentions to things that didn't make my top five. Uh, and they were a third person camera angle. I think sometimes it would be awesome to see the view the players have down at ground level throughout a game. You know, winning the hardball from a really close shot of the players. Uh, and, and maybe a my player mode where you only control your individual player for the duration of the match. Uh, and you could pick whichever player you wanted to do. So if I just wanted to play Jack Rewald in the forward line and just sit there in the goal square all game like Dimmer Hardwick doesn't let him do and then kick 20 goals in one game, then I'm able to do that. And you, then you can use that ground level camera angle that I just said you could create to go along with that. You're just sitting there in the goal square playing one-on-one -on -one against whoever it is that you want to go one-on-one -on -one against and uh, absolutely try and dominate them in that forward line or, or defense if you want to 
stop big buddy kicking goals all day long. Just whatever you, whatever floats your boat, hey? Uh, but anyway, finally, it is time for the moment you have all been waiting for. My number one most wanted feature in the next AFL game is... Stats! Yes, I am a huge fan of looking at every possession, every tackle, every clearance, every goal that each player on my team gets, and I want to see more. Now, while AFL Live 2 did provide us with some of the basic stats of each player at the end of the game, such as possessions, marks, hitouts, frees, tackles, and scoring, nothing quite lives up to the in-depth analysis of AFL 2007. It, it even gives each player a ranking given their influence on the ground. I mean, I want to see clearances. I want contestant ball. I want inside 50s. Score assists. Spoils. I want the whole shebang. I want to know exactly what each of my players did, why they did it, and how well they did it, all in a glorious stats sheet at my disposal. I want to know why they made the team or why they should be dropped because stats are everything. They are the best thing ever and like I want to know, like, why did I only have two possessions that game? Like, like who who had, did he have ten kicks and, and all ten of them were goals? Like, I want to know these things. Uh, I, like, I, I mean, there is nothing better than, than the AFL 2007 stats sheet. It was, it was glorious. It's, the layout is there for you. Just recreate that. It's super awesome and just get it done. Anyway, that is it for my top five features that I want to see in the next AFL video game. Uh, and, you know, there's a number of things that these games have done right over the years. So let's hope that the next game can pick and choose the best part of each game to make one almighty game. Now, will it be the new evolution that we all want it to become? Only time will tell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all had an awesome weekend. Let me know your most wanted features in the comments section below. Have a good one, thank you, and I'll see you guys later.